Okay, we're going to do a couple of fun things now. I'm going to switch to the Grand Canyon slide here. And uh, I'm going to click on it. You must click on it to select it. And so uh, I just noticed that this is sort of over a little bit too far. Let's put it in the middle. Better. Let me save it. Okay, so uh, now after I click on it, you will see right above it Quick Styles. We're going to click on Quick Styles, and then we're going to go down to Shadow. And you have choices of outer shadow or inner shadow or perspective or no shadow. We're going to choose the outer shadow, and we're going to choose this one here, which is down, outside bottom, outside bottom right. If you hover your mouse over these things, you will find what they're supposed to do. I'm going to click on this one. And I'm not sure you can see it exactly, but there is a shadow on this. And then I'm going to click on Shadow Options, and I get this format picture with shadow clicked, and it's outer, and it's color, but what I need to do is I need to make it bigger. Well, 200 is way too big, but if I cut it down a little bit, you will see, I'm going to use this, you will see slowly as I get this together that the shadow is coming out of the bottom of the picture. Now, it's way too dark. It doesn't look that good. But if I move this up a little bit and blur it a little bit, look how much better that looks. Looks like it's standing out. Distance. I can make it bigger or smaller. I want to keep it smaller. And transparency is also important. I want it sort of light. And I'm going to click OK. Look at that. I think that looks pretty good, don't you? Compared to this picture that's just flat. This picture stands out from the page. So that's called shadows. So you can try it. I don't expect every picture to have a shadow. In fact, when you do read PowerPoints for your teachers, you shouldn't have shadows and everything just enough just to show that you can do it in this particular case. Okay, that's the end of this video. Continue on the next video.